sky condition clear. Temperature 17 Celsius. Dew point 07 Celsius. Altimeter 3038. Remarks. Density altitude 300. Horus Williams Airport. Automated weather observation 1444 Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Okay. Temperature 1. Wind and visibility would be determining factors. Yes. Yeah. They said we can tack down the grass, so we will go and do that. Do I have to worry about these? Um, yeah, try not to touch yeah, okay. those. That would be <laughs> <Yeah>. appreciated. <laughs> And then what we're going to do, basically, is just a U-turn around the plane. Going to a U-turn here. We're going to do what's called a run-up. Okay, so this is basically, we run the engine at about 75% power just to make sure everything's good. So seats and belts, good. Yep. Cabin door is closed. That's closed, window's closed. Okay, watch your knees. That one goes up, that one goes down. That one goes up, that one goes down. Up, down, left, and right. That's at zero, that's on the horizon, within 75 feet. That's at zero. That's about good, that's good. Okay, so then, uh, let's see, fuel quantity, that's on both. Make sure full rich, throttle to 1700 RPM. Well, we're going to do what's called a short fuel takeoff. So we're going to put flaps to 10, trim set for takeoff, make sure it's full rich. Put our lighting light on. Chapel Hill traffic, Skyhawk, 738 Bravo Golf, taking off from 27. Reporting to the south, circling over the town, 2,500 to 3,000, Chapel Hill. How, how do you be aware that there's not other little planes up there? This is the, the traffic frequency. Okay. And so anybody that's flying around will be on this frequency and will tell you where they are. I don't see anybody. I don't hear anybody. And you can definitely tell that the runway is... Yeah. <laughs> Some vegetation. I uh, went to an undergraduate senate meeting where um, the, the other passenger, by the way, just texted me saying, sorry, I'm going to have to cancel. I was like, well, no crap, we're already on the runway. Uh, and Chancellor Fault was answering a question about why don't we have like a thousand people classes for chemistry with such like, or biology with such demand. She was like, the last thing we want to do is compromise any of the products we provide. And it's like, hello? Uh -huh. All right, so here's what's involved with the short field takeoff. We're going to run the engine at full throttle, hold the brakes, and then release and rotate. All right, full throttle. Engine instruments look good, and release. We want to rotate at 55 knots. Airspeed's alive. Five, rotate. If you've ever been biking in the Carolina North Forest or hiking, it's yep. right over there. Yep, that's where the pumpkin loop is. Yep. Alright, flaps up. the airport is the town. Yeah, it makes it handy. Incredible, more convenient than RDU, which once we're up to altitude, you'll be able to see off in the distance. There's Jordan Lakes right in front of us.
lovely buffeting, buffeting feeling. Yeah. Nothing, like, in, the, nothing like, in the way. Yeah. Like I said, they're very light airplanes, so they're very, they're very stable. I mean, you can you can fly with no hands, and it just flies. Circling Chapel Hill, 2600 Chapel Hill. There's Dean Dome and Keenan. Arboretum. Bypass. It makes you feel small because right. when you're on it, it seems so big. Um, do you want to fly the plane briefly? I'll give it a go. Okay. So let me just level it out south here. And yeah, so we can just get a sense for how the, the controls. Be. I can hold on to the phone. Okay. Okay. So it's very responsive because everything's driven by cables. the nose is what the pedals are for, so if you put your feet on the bottom half of the pedal and use those, you'll feel how that helps point the nose in a certain direction. Pulling this back, what does that do? Pulling it back makes pulls the airplane up. Okay. Yeah, you know, it's very easy to fly. Second. Uh, is it safe? It's it's definitely safe. Sure. Yeah. Our traffic test, uh, All that's involved really is pull the power off just a little bit. And then what you do is you just slow the plane down a bit and then Traffic Skyhawk 8 Bravo Golf descending out of 2500 going to cross over the field. Left downwind to runway 9, Chapel Hill. How high could a plane like this fly? Um, I would say the average cruising height is around 5,000, but you can technically go up to, I believe, 11,000. But the, yes. Yeah. That and also the engine doesn't get enough like oxygen, like the fuel to air mixture gets tricky at that point. Traffic 8 Bravo Golf turning left base, runway 9, Jeppel. Put in two notches of flaps. The airplane is so light when you put those flaps in, you can really feel the drag, the, yeah, the drag and the increased lift also.
Chapel Hill chat, Vic. 8 Bravo Golf turning final, runway 9, Chapel Hill. We're a bit high, but... This thing will come down very quickly. Business. Awesome. 